What's up guys, Takapshi here, welcome back to another daily video and today I wanted to do something that I announced yesterday on my Instagram account. So if you're an active follower there, you probably know what I'm talking about. So today I'm going to be showing you guys the iPhone 5s running the iOS 11 and my personal experience on this device on this particular framework. So what are the flaws, what are the problems in here, is this snappy enough to be really updated to the iOS 11? Well, let's see. So in this video guys, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about the iOS 11 on this particular device and of course if you want to support me in this video make sure you drop a huge fatty fat like on this video that would be so so much appreciated like always and now let's begin and okay guys so first of all i wanted to say that yes i have prepared a list of so many different things which i found in this firmware both positive and negative so we're gonna go through all of them and later you will decide whether you need to update to it or not so here's the first one and okay guys so the first one of them is the multitasking glitch and you know on the previous ios version i never experienced something like this so on here when you open up a lot of apps and you try to just switch between the apps you actually get around 10 to 15 fps when you try to just switch between those cards so you know it's kind of annoying to me that the performance is really bad in the multitasking wise and if you try to swipe from the right side on the last app it just returns you back to the previous one that's also a glitch in the multitasking department so Apple definitely needs to fix this one really soon and the next one is about the widgets panel so sometimes when I try to access the widgets panel from a home screen just like that those cards would shift to the right and then go back to the normal position so that's really weird and yeah just you know swiping between those cards drop frames a lot so for sometimes I get around 10 frames per second to even 5 frames per second so really depends but that's pretty bad performance and now about the good things so iPhone 5s and you know the iPhone 6 have really really good 3d touch emulation in the control center so this is the one thing that which I really really liked so for example when I try to a kind of 3d touch on the music widget as you can see that brings me further and I can of course control the music from here so it kind of looks really nice and I'm so happy that Apple finally decided to make something like this a kind of a 3d touch alternative for non 3d touch devices that's really good next one is about the iOS 10 and yes I should say that iOS 10 was faster so in terms of just opening the applications and switching between them of course the iOS 10 was faster and the iOS 11 is pretty close to it but sometimes I do see that it, there's not enough RAM for just handling the whole system on the iPhone 5s you know it has just one system single gig of RAM and A7 processor which is pretty not enough for that system but uh, overall it, it is just a little bit uh, slower than the iOS 10. And now I'm not sure if I have a kind of a broken device but on the iOS 11 I experience so much heat from my iPhone 5s you know it hits up like crazy almost like a volcano so now I'm personally charging it but you know just uh, when I try to use this one for let's say 30 minutes it just hits up so much comparing to the iOS 10 so of course this heat generates more you know power and that means the battery life won't be as good on as on the iOS 10 so this is kind of connected to each other so I'm pretty sure this will be fixed in the newer versions of the iOS 11 but for now yes I have this issue present on here next one is responsiveness and now I'm talking about the notification center well not say the notification center let's say this is a lock screen and the control center so sometimes when I just try to switch between the home screens just like that and just activate the control center notification center it just you know doesn't slide from the top or from the bottom you know there's kind of a delay or it just doesn't work at all so yeah I never had this one on the iOS 10 but here sometimes the system think that I didn't do anything so you know when I try to just access the control center some ch sometimes it just doesn't work for me and consequently there are more lags that I can experience on this device just because for some reason Apple and you know the whole system doesn't want to register my uh, touches on the screen and you know when I try to just close the control center it just doesn't work sometimes so that's pretty annoying because you know you're gonna be using this phone on your daily basis and you don't want to have this one on your phone and now let's talk about the YouTube app so if you're watching me my video this one that means you're watching YouTube too much so so, of course if you're using the YouTube app on your iPhone you need to have it running perfectly so 
when I try to watch videos on this device and you know swiping this video to the uh, bottom right corner it just lags a lot so I get around 5 FPS to 3 FPS sometimes because it cannot handle this kind of gesture in here so of course watching videos is fine but I'm gonna tell you that if you're watching a lot of videos on the iPhone please do not update to this firmware because it's gonna drain your battery like crazy especially when you're watching these videos so of course if you watch them this is not a good idea to update to it so lastly I would say that yes this iOS 11 is pretty usable at this point, but it's not really stable. So on the iPhone 5S, as you can see, there's so many bugs and glitches still present in here. So hopefully, of course, Apple will see this video and fix them as soon as possible for you. Uh, but on the iPhone 6S or higher on the iPhone 7, you will never find any glitches on this system. So if you have the iPhone 6S or higher, you can update right now. And for the iPhone 5S users, I would say, yes, you have a chance right now to actually update to it and see for yourself if you're feeling comfortable with it because in the future you won't be able to downgrade to the iOS 10.3.3 because it will be no longer signed so you have a chance right now to actually go ahead and update to this firmware just to see it for yourself and then of course if it's going to be suitable for you just leave it there and be using this the whole day and yeah guys I mean that should be pretty much it hopefully this was useful for you and of course I wanted to make this video a little bit different from what others do because I really wanted to show you what really bothers me in this firmware why I would not use it on my iPhone 5s or uh, what why I would use it on here But you know, I hope this was useful for you And of course if it was make sure you drop a huge like on this video That would be so so much appreciated like always and as always guys I hope to see you around on my next one and Peace out